Did you know that the Tesla Cybertruck may be available in two different sizes? In this video, we are going to talk about Tesla Cybertruck may come in two sizes. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Welcome to TechSpot. The Tesla Cybertruck is a concept vehicle developed by Tesla. Even those who are not regularly following the automotive business are likely to be aware of this wacky electric truck, which was unveiled by Tesla CEO Elon Musk back in November of the last year. There's no doubt about it, it's a polarizing machine. Apart from what everyone thinks of the truck, what do we know about it now, two years after it was first seen? This concept of a Tesla Cybertruck was first proposed by Elon Musk in 2012, at the time, the idea seemed ludicrous, and Musk stated that he wanted to build a truck with a specified cargo capacity. As a result of the weight and poor power of electric vehicles, they have suffered a significant depreciation. They appear to have completed the task seven years later, and wow did it appear to be so from the future. However, as it turned out, it was a little too ahead of its time because, as we all know, the truck has yet to go into actual production. And during that time, a lot has changed in the EV world, namely, the special and unique nature of the electric truck has worn off as a result of the arrival of alternatives to the soccer truck, and boy are there a lot of them. To illustrate this, let's take a look at some of the most notable reactions to Tesla Cybertruck, in addition to their overall EV superiority, which must be exposed. The more conventional design, simpler manufacturing, and really strong support make it an excellent choice. Their trucks will be available for purchase very soon since they are in the process of developing them. Not to mention the offerings from businesses that are currently in operation. For example, there's the Hummer EV, which will be available in less than two months, and a Ford product dubbed Lightning, which could be available soon as well. When there is so much rivalry, it is tempting to disregard any new competition as merely another company. The proposed truck is equipped with self-leveling suspension that compensates for variations in load and some models are equipped with all-wheel drive as well. Other basic features, according to the business, will include onboard power inverters capable of producing both 120 and 240 volt energy, allowing the use of power tools without the need for a portable generator to be included. Included is an air compressor to use in conjunction with pneumatic tools. Bullet-resistant stainless steel sheet metal is believed to be used on the exterior of the building. All vehicles will also be equipped with Tesla Autopilot, and they will be equipped with the necessary hardware to enable them to operate completely autonomously. As of 2019, Musk stated that a solar roof option would be available, which would provide an additional 15 miles of range per day. After a US $100 deposit, Tesla began accepting Cybertruck pre-orders in November 2019 with a US $10,000 full self-driving upgrade option available for an additional $10,000. It was announced in 2019 by Tesla that the EPA range of the Cybertruck would be between 250 and 500 miles, 400 and 800 kilometers, depending on the configuration options selected. Its interior featured a 17-inch center display, seating for six people in two bench seats, with the middle seat in the front serving as a fold-down center armrest, a digital rear-view camera-based mirror, a race car-style steering yoke, and an all-black dashboard with a marble-like surface. The prototype was unveiled on November 21st, 2019. The center seat in the back of the vehicle may be folded down to accommodate long cargo stretching into the cab from the vault, enclosed lockable bed. The marble look dashboard of the debut prototype vehicle was composed of a paper composite material consisting of paper, wood-based fibers, natural wood colors, and non-petroleum-based resins, according to the company. While manufacturing is still a long way off, we're learning more and more about this ambitious new truck every day. The idea of a smaller Cybertruck, according to Elon Musk, was floated at one point, but he never pursued it further, at least not in a public forum. A smaller Cybertruck could make sense in the long term, according to him, but that was back in November of last year, and we haven't heard anything about it since. The smaller model was never formally verified by Cybertron or Nissan. Trip Chowdhury, an analyst at Global Equities Research, 
made a very big forecast about the Tesla Cybertruck in a recent blog article. In the opinion of the analyst, who happens to be one of Tesla's most enthusiastic supporters, the business will have two versions of the all-electric truck, one that is the same size as the vehicle's alpha prototypes and another that is approximately 15-20% to smaller. The expert went on to say that Cybertruck's smaller variant would most likely be introduced at a special virtual event around the time of the March 2022 presidential election. Except for the fact that it will be 15-20% to smaller than the original Cybertruck, Chowdhury stated that the vehicle will have major adjustments made to the original design of the all-electric pickup truck. Longtime Tesla Bull also anticipated that Steel Dynamics, a company that is currently establishing a facility around 100 miles away from Gigafactory Texas, would be the sole provider of steel exoskeletons for the Cybertruck. According to reports, this would be true for both the full-sized edition of the all-electric pickup truck and the smaller variants, which has yet to be disclosed. It was pointed out by the analyst at Global Equities Research that he does not expect Tesla to mention their smaller Cybertruck during the firm's forthcoming Q4 and fiscal year 2021 earnings calls, as the business would most likely wait until March before announcing the vehicle. Chowdhury, in the end, retained his overweight rating for Tesla shares, along with his optimistic $1,500 per share price target for the company. In an interesting turn of events, CEO Elon Musk had previously considered the notion of releasing a smaller version of the Cybertruck. Following the debut of the Cybertruck, several Tesla owners raised their concerns about the vehicle's size, which would most certainly prevent it from fitting into some small American garages in the future. Musk then pondered the possibility of narrowing the vehicle's breadth and height for a brief moment. However, in later remarks, the CEO claimed that the dimensions of the production Cybertruck would be similar to that of the prototype that was presented in November. He didn't go into specifics about the adjustments, but he did indicate that the smaller Cybertruck is approximately 15-20% to smaller than the larger Cybertruck. It is reported that the shells of both vehicles would be constructed by the same business, Steel Dynamics of Texas. The company's facility is located approximately 100 miles from Tesla's Texas Gigafactory. It is unlikely that Tesla will address any of this on its next earnings call, which is scheduled for Wednesday, January 26, 2022. We would also like to point out to you that you should not expect Cybertruck deliveries to begin this year, as a new report published by Reuters now predicts that the company will begin selling the vehicles in early 2023. According to the news agency, Tesla has delayed the Cybertruck for so long to make significant changes to its design in response to the arrival of pickups from competitor manufacturers with their remarkable list of specifications and features. There would also be a market for smaller Cybertrucks, as other automakers are also said to be working on smaller versions of their current models. Cybertruck's smaller counterpart would compete with models such as the speculated Ford Ranger EV, and even Nissan is said to be developing an electric pickup in the same size range. Musk did acknowledge that, in the long run, it would be beneficial to produce a smaller version of the Cybertruck, particularly given the fact that the vehicle's original size may be a little too large for some regions. If the global equities research analyst's projections turn out to be correct, it would appear that Tesla is anticipating significant demand not only for an all-electric full-size truck, but also for a smaller, more compact, and potentially a more inexpensive version of the vehicle. What do you think of our video? Let me know your opinion in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.